Hey guys, it's Bro you Wag, and it's about that time of the year again. It's time to speculate what the next hero is going to be. I laugh because, yes, we just did get Sigma a couple of weeks ago, but you gotta really think about it. We've had Sigma on Overwatch, or at least on the PTR, for at least two months now, and if you look at the timeline of how Overwatch usually works, or at least how Blizzard works, you would know that BlizzCon is going to be coming up at the very end of the month. And what happens at BlizzCon? Usually a new hero gets announced. I mean, it happens every freaking year, because this is the biggest celebration of Blizzard IPs and the best way to celebrate Overwatch is with a brand new hero. And they've been doing that ever since the first BlizzCon with Overwatch with Summer 2016, then Mora following that year, and then Ash being the latest hero announced at BlizzCon. I don't think I really need to justify why I think it's gonna happen. I think most people are on board that it is going to happen, but there's always the off chance that it might, but again, we're gonna assume that it is. But we also got asked the question, what is Hero 32 gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a a new character that we have never heard before or is it gonna be someone that has already been announced wink 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 but also I want to talk about what overwatch needs as terms of new hero getting added into the hero roster because right now double shield is currently taking over the meta maybe the new hero can possibly break that literally break that. First, I want to talk about who I think Hero 32, or at least who I want Hero 32 to be. Now, these three options I'm going to be talking about are going to be the same options that I talked about in my Hero 31 speculations, and then Blizzard just threw Sigma out of nowhere and then made me look like an idiot. So, I'm going to use these same three options because they're kind of the most practical, but also one of them is the most probable. The first one that I think a lot of people have been begging for for a long time is the Junker Queen. This is the hero that I think would be a great addition to the DPS lineup, and especially right now with this double shield meta, you'll soon see why when I talk about her possible abilities. The second hero, which I think is going to be the least likely option, is Maui, that big buff tanky guy from the Batiste comic. I highly doubt though because we literally just got a tank, and the third option is going to be Echo, and I think this is going to be the most probable. One, because she got announced, she, she got revealed, I guess you can say, at the latest BlizzCon with the McCree cinematic, and she also looks like someone that would be be another great addition to the hero roster. A lot of people are speculating that she would be a support, and I kind of doubt it, and you'll soon see why. But first, let's talk about the Junker Queen. If you look at it chronologically, the latest two heroes were a tank and a support, so we're due for a DPS hero. I don't know if we need one because of how much we have, but that's just how it works, is that we always get a DPS, tank, and a support every single year, and the Junker Queen is the most likely fit for that DPS role. The queen of the town where people go and fight robots and probably fight each other, yeah, I think it's the likely candidate of a very strong and fearless DPS hero, but there's also other stuff hinting at her just being a possible hero that I think with the given schedule, I think would be very, very practical, because they already have a voice actor for the Junker Queen. Every single time you pass the first point of Junker Town, they already have voice lines for when Roadhog passes it, or Junkrat, or just anybody welcoming them to Junker Town, so it would be an easy call to whoever the Junker Queen's voice actor is and be like, Hey, can you come and record all the voice lines for the Junker Queen in about two weeks? They don't have to hire anybody, they already have someone, and it'd be an easy transition. But as terms of her hero kit, as terms of how she would actually play, what would it be? Or at least what would I want it to be? Well, right now, Double Shield is the thing that's taking over the game, so what I would want is that with her big giant staff, because all the posters in Junker Town is portraying her with this big giant staff, what I would want is for this to be a melee weapon. Think of Reinhardt, think Think of Brigida, think of those types of things that can not only do damage, but either it's her passive ability or her ultimate, where it's a piercing sword, where every single time she swipes at a shield, it disintegrates, it goes away. I don't know if it'd be an overpowered ultimate, but at least it would be an ultimate, something that is not always available. And I think this would be really good because this will not only break the double shield meta, quite literally, but it might also welcome back off meta tanks, such as Zarya or such as Hammond, to where their shields don't break because they, they don't have a shield. So I think that's why I think this would be a good addition because it would, in a sense, help balance things out and bring in a new hero to the game. And I think that would be the main shtick of the Junker Queen because when you look at her, she seems very vanilla. It seems like there's not much to her other than the fact that she has a staff, it can swing and do damage, and also pierce through shields as terms of an idea. And of course, we can have tons of other ideas like maybe her staff can shoot electricity because only Winston can do it. Or maybe it can shoot fire because nobody does that besides Torbjorn, but that's really lava. But at the end of the day, I think it would be a very simple, very easy to learn, hard to master hero, sort of like Ash, where Ash, everybody got what you needed to do. You shoot, 
and that's it. But you need to also learn how to use the TNT, the coach gun. So that's where the hard part comes into play. Same thing with the Junker Queen. But while that won't be a surprise to a lot of people at BlizzCon, this next idea definitely will because we don't need another tank, I can tell you that much. But it would also be someone that, again, I don't know, people would like is Maui. I'll be really quick when it comes to this hero, but this hero is a possibility because one, he is in the Batiste lore. He seems like someone that you would want to expand the story on because he seemed like a very important part of Batiste's story. And he's this big brawlic dude. Why wouldn't you make him into a tank? Well, because we already got Sigma, and that's the main reason why we probably won't get him for a while. But I said this before in my Hero 31 speculation, I think he would be a good addition for this meta specifically, because he seems like someone that can have an ability where he slams his fist into the ground, and it can break all the shields. Like, literally break them instantly. And I think that's all you would really need when it comes to this hero that people would just grasp onto. It's someone that is very strong, very powerful, and is me angry, me fight, me go boom type hero. <laughs> but we know that's probably not gonna happen because either we're gonna get a DPS hero or possibly another support hero. And that's where a lot of people are speculating where Echo could be a hero in the support role. But I don't think she needs to be a support hero where she could possibly be a DPS hero. And let me explain. While she seems like this caring individual that wants the best for McCree is looking out for everybody because she's this Omnic with this very human-like face that kind of seems a little bit weird. She seems like someone that would be very supportive. So why wouldn't she be a support hero? Because she doesn't need to be a support hero. She could be a DPS hero. And that's really it. And if you're gonna fight me saying, oh, you're wrong, bro, you whack dog. We don't even know if she's gonna be a hero. So let me just speculate her being a possible DPS hero. It's very hard to give someone like this DPS abilities. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because what do you give someone who's very soft-spoken, very nice, white and blue, and an Omnic abilities to kill? I, ooh. So because because coming up with DPS abilities for Echo was so difficult, I decided to do a little bit of research on her and I found out that she might have been inspired from an originally developed hero early on in development, but was cut that was named Iris. And if you see what Iris is all about, they had a particle beam, speed boost, and shield. I highly doubt we're gonna get a speed boost ability from Echo and also shield, uh, I don't know if we would have like a shield shield or something that you would get into your health pool, but either way, I don't think we need either of those. But another beam hero, I think could be in the works. I mean, we have so so many regular gun heroes like McCree or Ash or Soldier 76 and Sombra. So why not have a beam hero of the likes of something like Zarya or Symmetra? But not even just that, possibly. Quite possibly, we can have something that can shoot through shields. God, why am I so obsessed with the shields? Because they're annoying, yo. You have to realize that when a new hero gets added into the game, it would ideally help balance out the game, where it not only makes itself meta, but also makes other heroes meta to help counter Echo, where Echo can help counter a lot of powerful heroes, etc., etc. Sigma did the complete opposite, where it pushed out a bunch of heroes out of the meta, made himself meta, and made a few other heroes meta, where Echo, it can not only break the shields, but also also make shield tanks a little less useful and make off tanks a little more useful and make echo useful and maybe make other DPS or support heroes ideal for other compositions because of the fact that her particle beam can shoot through shields since nobody in the game can really do that. Now that might seem stupid because again the whole point now, it might seem stupid, I won't deny, because the whole point of a shield is to help protect you away from harm, from damage. And if something is able just to shoot through the shield, then well, that seems counterintuitive. So it was just an idea, because I don't really know what else you can do when it comes to having shields involved with Echo, where she benefits sort of like Symmetra. But then you just create a Symmetra clone, and I'm not really about that life. I'm not really trying to just copy and paste a new Symmetra hero where people can throw with her. Or another idea that I had is to mix both a DPS and a support hero, sort of like how Brigida was, but have it more DPS oriented, where the support part of Echo could be an AoE shield. Think of Lucio's circle around her, where every single person that's in that little vicinity can get a temporary 25 or 50 shield, and every single time that they leave, that shield goes away. This might spawn another goat meta, I, I don't really know why, but I think that'd be still a unique idea, still taking a page out of Lucio's book, but at least it's something to where it hasn't been done before where you have a safe space literally a safe space with a shield it wouldn't be like Batista's immortality field where it would 
make you invincible, but just give you a little bit, a tiny bit more health, and then her primary form of fire can be another particle beam. I'm not really too sure. Or the last idea that I have for Echo specifically is to have something to where she has sort of like a sonar ability where she's able to see everybody on the map for one to two seconds. It won't last as long as Widowmaker, which is where her ultimate can reign supreme, and it won't be like Hanzo's where it can last for a long time, but it can only last in a specific area. At least with Echo's sonar ability, you're able to see a somber, you're able to see a flanking reaper, so on and so forth. And if you think that will break Overwatch, dude, if you're relying on your kills with flanks, that just goes to show that you can't just get kills simply by going forward and having better aim than the enemy team. And that's why I really like the sonar ability with Echo. But no matter who Hero 32 is going to be, there's really only two things I desperately want for this up and coming hero. The first of which is to make them really easy. Think of Ash, think of Moira. They're very popular in the Overwatch community, but heroes like Sigma or Hammond, people really didn't like because they were very, very hard to master right out the get-go. But the second thing that I want is for somebody to deal with shield specifically. Someone like Symmetra just is reigning supreme. We need someone better or if not more diverse to still handle shields, but also to do more work after the shields are gone. And that's what I want from Hero 32. And those are my ideas for these three heroes. But I definitely want to hear what your ideas are and what you would like to see for this up and coming hero. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More of our videos to come and bye.